<sighs> really, Netflix? This is how you follow up Nemona? Like, oh boy. Let's get this over with. Hey guys, this is Frozen Pink Steers here, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be doing a rant on The Monkey King. So The Monkey King is a recent uh, Netflix uh, animated release that came out a few weeks ago and uh, is uh, directed by Anthony Stachy and stars uh, Jimmy O. Yang, uh, Bo Wedia Yang, uh, Julia Huang uh, Rappaport, uh, Jo Koi, um, Koi uh, Stephanie Shu, uh, B.D. Wong, um, D. Bradley Baker, uh, etc. And so basically the, the plot for the Monkey King uh, tells a story um, like ba this is based on uh, the uh, journey to the West, uh, journey to the West storyline, uh, even though it has uh, nothing to do with the uh, journey to the West. Although it does reveal at the end of the movie that this was uh, technically a prequel to Journey in the West, and and since the ending does uh, set up you know, the the actual Journey to the West story, but this story is basically the the origins of the Monkey King, where he uh was uh, rejected yeah, I mean, we, um, he, he was rejected that, and he couldn't fit into any group so he was all alone uh, training uh, his goal is to become the most uh, immortal uh, person in the world and so um, and, and, and so he uh, finds uh, this stick uh, he finds his stick as a sidekick who he actually stole from uh, the dragon king who, who uh, uses the stick to conquer the world so the dragon ki king uh, chases after him and uh, giant and monkey and the monkey goes on uh, this uh, quest uh, with uh, a young girl named the Lin who is um, who um, wants who um, is a huge fan of the Monkey King and wants to uh, help us save her village and so they go on this quest uh, they go on this quest to find uh, the thing I don't know what, what whatever that was uh, they go, the Monkey King uh, goes on a quest to uh, defeat the all the gods, uh, just all the demons, uh, just so so he can uh, reclaim his title as the most immortal god ever. While uh, Lin wants to uh, save uh, the um, tribe and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a plot, man. Like, I, I feel like there isn't even a plot to this. Like, saying there's a plot to this is too generous. And even though, like, like there's technically a story, like, there is, like, this stuff plot in this. Oh, boy. So yeah, um, I'm sure y'all know how I feel about these Netflix movies. I am, uh, like, those who know me so well would know that I am a huge uh, defender of uh, Netflix movies. I've been constantly giving, uh, Netflix, these Netflix original movies, uh, original movies, um, a chance, um, a, a chance, yeah, I mean, no, not really a chance, but I've always, I've always given them the benefit of a doubt, despite them being low budget and extra to streaming, I always, like, you know, Watch them and open mind. Unlike some people who would like to just complain that that is, is, is another Netflix movie and would just uh, straight up trash it. I've been like defending a lot of uh, Netflix movies lately. Like one example being a uh, Harder Stone, which I reviewed, and also uh, the Gray Man, the the Gray Man, and no other stuff. Yeah, sure. Netflix has put out some garbage movies. Uh, no, no doubt about it. Uh, but when it comes to um, the the um, animated Netflix movies, most of them are amazing. Like, I didn't see a lot of bad uh, an an Netflix animated movies because the bad ones I have no um, interest in. Uh, particularly, um, yeah, some of the bad ones. The one reason that Netflix animated movie that came out that I have uh, no interest in seeing is uh, Lay Bug Lay Bugging Cat Noir the movie. But to be fair, I am also, I have no interest in, 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 in the show that that movie is based on as well. Like, I don't. Like, I, I never even heard of it until I saw, like, posts on Instagram. I was like, what on earth is this? And I just didn't really have any interest. So, The Monkey King was a movie that I, I wasn't sure if I was inter interested to, to see or not. I was like, oh, it's a monkey. It's, it's this movie. It's a Journey to the West uh, movie. Um, it, like, you know, Journey to the West is one of the most uh, iconic uh, s stories ever told. It, that, uh, story is such a legend that many people remember to this day so uh 
when you adapt up, up a journey to the west, uh, adapt a journey to the west, it's gonna be really good. Like sometimes you can like make it like straight off in a book, or you can just have your own uh, take on it. Uh, like for example, American Born Chinese, which is an underrated show. Uh, one of my yeah, one of my top five favorite shows of the year um, so far, in my opinion. That move, that show um, from Disney Plus actually does uh, the the Journey to the West the storyline justice. Now, admittedly, I did expect a little too much from it. I was like expecting, um, I was like you know um, expecting you know just multiverse stuff based on the, on the marketing. Like I, I, at first, I, when I first saw this show for the first time, I was like, this is not going anywhere. This is not going anywhere. Like, like, what? Where's all the multiverse stuff? But then I, I realized that you know, that the the marketing was completely misleading, and that it wasn't supposed to be about the multiverse, but rather about the monkey king with a different take with, and and the human stuff. And that's actually genius. That's actually brilliant. Yeah. But when it comes to you know, this version, monkey king, I was actually thinking that this would get good reviews. Um. Thinking that like I kind of had high expectations for this to be honest. Well, I wouldn't say they were high expectations because I I was like I I, I just wasn't really sure. So my expectations were like right in the middle of the road with this one. But what really got me to watch this movie was Animax review. Um, yeah, he called the movie mediocre, and when I actually like saw his review, I was like, okay, I'm actually very curious to see this one. Despite Animax not liking this, now I feel like it might be his least favorite. Though animated film the year so far um i don't blame him though um i i it got me very curious very curious to checking this one out and uh, yeah um and yeah um yeah and i i saw it for myself recently now going to this movie i expected a uh mediocre um you know so so movie like 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 you know one of those movies where i just watch it and be like okay it's eh, it's fine i don't care and I just move on with my life. I, I didn't even think I would actually review this movie. Like since, yeah, it looked like a movie where I just move on after watching and just bring out nothing. But I was shocked after I saw this. You know why? Because this movie freaking sucked. Yep, this movie was awful. Like so bad that I had to do a rant this because I have, I have uh, things to say about this. And like, and this is embarrassing because Netflix was on a roll this year. Like, yeah, um, this isn't. Although yes, this isn't honest. This honestly just isn't even the worst Netflix anime movie of the year. That goes to Murder Mystery too. But come on, Netflix, uh, you gave us Nemona and Killer Killer Model Torch Pinocchio. What happened to you? And my God, 2023 was on a roll uh, when it comes to animation. You know, like um, we got you know, so many gems like. Um, the Super Mario Bros. movie. Um, well, it, although, yeah, we have to wait until April to be able to get the legit, the mainstream anime movie. Yeah. But, but, we had so many bangers, bangers with you know, the Super Mario Bros. movie. Um, am I missing something? Super Mario Bros. movie, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, Elemental, um, Ruby Gill, my Teenage Kraken, which I wouldn't say was a banger, but I liked the movie. I still would give the movie a positive review. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem and um, and the uh, one that uh, one that, it, that I'm highly anticipated uh, anticipating Wish and also one that I'm actually pretty excited for uh, Chicken Run that Donuts and Nuggets uh, so yeah you'll see that like, so many great animated movies and and so far there's only been one bad animated movie um, The Amazing Maurice and I, I, I thought it would stay that way. I thought that we, we would never uh, we wouldn't get, get get a bad animated movie um un, like until uh, Papa chose the mighty movie and especially chose band together and maybe migration which looks mediocre in my opinion. Um, sorry guys, but I, I I'm not gonna bash it like most of the other animation movies, but it just looks uh, not my cup of tea. But but I never thought that. Besides uh, Amazing Maori's uh, Pop, a show the Mighty movie, and a uh, show's band together, I didn't think I would see another uh, bad animated movie, but turns out we got one. And, and this is shocking, uh, the monkey. Now, before I get into the reasons, uh, just a disclaimer, um, 
I am not hating on this movie just because it's animation. I know that um, you're gonna be like, oh, oh no, Frozen just branded on another animated kid, animated movie. Oh no, he uh, sucks for that. I don't, I don't think I hate me for that. I kind of apologize for it. I think I was, I, I don't like I've uh, treated animation too harshly, but just a last year just sucked for it. That time's when I do just absolutely suck for animation, but. But you know, if you're gonna think I'm I'm so biased, just um take a look at my just look back at my thoughts on all you know, those animated movies, Mario, Spider Verse, Elemental, uh, Ruby Gilman, and Ninja Made of Mayhem. I like those movies, so can't be an, I I can't say I'm an animation hater this year. But Monkey King is certainly a bottom tier animated movie this year. So anyway, so let's get on with the reasons. So actually, I just want to ask myself. Do I have anything positive to say about this movie? Actually, yes, there are some positive things that I have to say about this movie. There are some uh, redeeming qualities to it. Um, I thought he, I thought Lin was a pretty decent character. Yeah, sure, he does start off as you know this uh, you know this um, generic uh, like she started off she started off as a as a pretty generic character. But as the movie progresses, uh, I actually I, um. The more the, the more the movie progresses, Lynn actually kind of grows on me, and and she becomes you know a pretty deep, solid character. Do I love her? No, but do I actually think she's likable enough? Maybe for the first time she's unlikable, but later on I actually do um respect her a lot more. Yeah, that's the word I would say. Um, I do respect her. I don't love her, but I I like that you know the movie is able to um give her some development and make her grow as a character. And at the end of the day, she is the true hero of the movie. Yep, there, yep, I said it. I think she is the true hero of the movie. I'll explain why later on. Um, the animation is pretty solid for the most part. Yeah, sure, there's some bad character designs that I'll, I'll, there's some bad aspects in the animation that I'll get to later, but for the most part, you know, um, the animation is overall really good looking, especially with the backgrounds and the visual effects. Oh boy, the visual effects is gorgeous. It's very colorful and and, you know, and especially the action scenes. The action scenes are stunning. I think the action like might be the best thing about the film. It is just very stunning and, and it's just such a blast to, 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 to see these actions, action scenes. And um, and um, yeah, that's all I can say about um, that, that's that, that's all I can say about the pastas because oh boy. Now I got some negatives to, to uh, tackle up on. Where do I even start with this? Uh, this movie ruined the, the journey to the West uh, legend we all know. This movie just, uh, just you know, just shot on it and stand on it and just pooped on it and just uh, threw it all away and just, uh, just destroy it. Like, this is uh, not Monkey King. Uh, Monkey King is supposed to be, like, Journey to the West is supposed to be a mature story. But I think this movie just uh, I, this movie you just play it so safe. But uh, this is uh, basically your average uh, kids animated movie. And I'm not saying animation just for kids. I think I, I'm not doing it anymore. Like the, like you can think like I'm not gonna do it anymore. Not just because I'm on I'm on high level criticism, but I just started to realize that you know maybe animation isn't all that bad. Like may, like all these. Uh, like what I said, I said twice, at least we're getting some good animated content now, but come on, Netflix, uh, why uh, don't you take a risk from this? I mean, look at Killer Mode towards Pinocchio. That is a movie that actually isn't afraid to tackle adult themes. You know, the movie tackles of fascism and war, and it has depictions of war, and that's a lot of you know, deep, uh, traumatic elements that aren't suitable for kids. If Netflix is brave enough to make something like Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, why do they have to like you know just make the Monkey King that's so safe and just not do anything with it? So, uh, like, and they only and like it's hard to be, it's hard for you to believe that you're actually watching the Monkey King because of how um, this how safe it, it is, uh, and this feel and, and this is just very generic. Yeah, this is such a generic anime movie. I know I said my Blue Beetle review that I am I am forgiving towards you know generic stuff because I'm not really bothered by it. But this movie is what I can in this movie. But this movie I can uh, call it a generic and actually be affected by it because this movie's uh, 
generic thing, stuff in it. Oh my goodness! They just made me want to roll my eyes. Oh, roll, roll my eyes. Um, like, um, yeah. Um, and also, like, one of the biggest issues with the film is that it is extremely mean spirited. Like, ninety percent of, of the characters are extremely hateable. And you all know that characters is, is my favorite aspect of the film. So. Make, if you make these characters so unlikable, like a lot of these characters, then it completely affects the movie for me. Because there's like no one to care for, no one to root, and, and it really affects the story. Yeah, yeah, my god, yeah, the Monkey King himself, the title, oh my goodness. He is uh, the worst character of the year, in my opinion. Like, worst character. He is just horrendous. He is like, he just really makes me angry. Um, after like he just really makes me angry. Yeah, he is he is a narcissist. He um he's a narcissist that a whole he um only cares about himself and and he even just uh, pushes um like people who help from him away. Like and, and he even doesn't care about people. Like when Lin wanted to help uh, the monkey king like uh, uh, on his journey, uh it, it took the monkey king like so many times to um just push her her away be like no I don't want your help you're just a tiny pebble like they use that you know tiny pebble concept there's so many times it's an insult where basically you know you're basically if you're a tiny pebble you're a loser like they, they use that as a concept but but all the one one you know thing I will give this movie one compliment is that uh, sometimes uh, a uh, tiny pebble uh, can Sometimes a, a, a tiny pebble can change the world. Like a tiny pebble can make a big impact. So I, I actually kind of like that message. So I will. That's one thing I will give the movie. It, it, it does have a, a solid message. But but yeah. Um, but yeah, the monkey game does nothing here. And you know what makes it worse is that in the beginning of the movie, like in the first act, there's a scene where the monkey king, uh, where, where like you know the monkey king just you know destroys a village. He, like. Like, you know, he, he fights you know, the demons in, in front of him, but when he dodges it, he literally just, you know, blocks it. Like, he literally, like, you know, um, throws it right into the city, destroying it. Like, and, and then, um, and then, um, you know, um, every, and then, you know, um, the villagers, like, like, hate on him because of how he just, he's just so careless and just straight up destroyed the city. And, um, yeah, um, where do I mean? Um, yeah, and, and they even, um, and, Lynn is just so blinded by like oh like the fact that you know she she doesn't want to admit that you know the monkey king actually kind of uh, destroyed the village and, and because of how careless he is and he's just so blindsided like so that's pretty much why like the, that's pretty much the problem with Lynn not back like in the beginning like because she just gets so blinded by everything the monkey king does like even if like he causes damage that they still don't care and uh, he even like you know forces the the you know the bounce people like the way or whatever to uh read the uh, to read the, the the scroll like the, the message uh, which basically shows oh monkey king i'm the best oh, monkey king is a true hero who saved a city yeah even if he literally damaged it like caused damage like this like heavy destruction like my god that guy and unlike lynn where lynn actually grows as a character the monkey king doesn't even grow um as a character one bit uh, one bit, yeah, he, he doesn't grow, um, he doesn't grow, he just stays the same, like, unlikable prick uh, throughout the entire runtime, and it just, uh, makes me fierce in him, and that is exactly why I think the Monkey King is the worst character of the year, and, like, there is just so many other characters who I hate, like, for example, the villain, like, if this movie having the worst character protagonist of the year wasn't enough, now let's uh now this movie bring in the worst villain of the year. Oh my goodness, where do I even start with? Like first of all, like the movie tries way too hard to give it the Dragon King a motivation, but all his motivation is just pretty much uh oh I'm I'm going to oh uh, oh oh he he took my stick he, even though it's not really his oh I want you to do the conquer the world so I gotta chase Monkey King like he's Monkey King and uh. Yeah, um, his monkey king, and uh, and that's basically it. And also, can we talk about how the, how bad his design is? Like, what on earth am I looking at? The, like, this dragon guy is basically just you know, it looks like a puppy, 
Like, it, it, like the, the, you call it a dragon-like. It looks more like a poppy than a dragon-like. Like, like there, there is no way that's a dragon. Like, why give him a poppy look like nose? Like, what is like a dog nose? So, like, that is not a dragon. That is just ridiculous nonsense, and uh, it's just laughable. And yes, some of the character designs are horrible. Like, also Monkey King, not a big fan of his character design. Um, the Jade, like, he looks so laughable. Like, he looks like Kingpin done bad, uh, his design. And, oh yeah, and let's talk about the Dragon King's uh, henchmen, uh, who I don't even remember their names. Uh, but all I know about them is that they're basically um, Pain and Panic from Hercules and done wrong. Yeah, they're very Pain and Panic ripoffs. Uh, like, and they're basically just annoying. At least Pain and Panic are, are able to deliver some great comedic, uh, you know, like stuff to it. Uh, Pain, like those two um, bozos uh, are just um, irritating. And there's like some cringy, like there's like. And, and there was that one scene where they were just about, as bees uh, dancing ridiculously and forcing uh, the monkey to uh, get to eat the peaches where the peaches will uh, make him just uh, go like you know, insanely uh, like insanely drunk just so they can take the stick away from him like like oh my god and that's not a problem in this movie the writing is uh, feels non-existent yeah sure it, it does have the concept of the journey but but the actual plot, like it should, it just drags on. Like, there's a barely a plot to it. It's just full of filler, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, all you see in the movie is just filler, but there's like barely any context to it, which uh, just really like affects the story. Like, this is such a like I wouldn't say the story is offensively bad, but it's just such lazy writing. Like, it's the definition of lazy, of uh, just outright lazy writing. Uh, is he writing act and yeah um but you know what is uh what makes this worse is not like they had yeah so much filler like i already mentioned that but even the third thing is completely filler yeah like you know um the the final battle ended like uh, one hour and ten minutes into the film so the, the writer's like oh we can't just end there let's throw in another plot the line that that just does nothing so basically like in the third act well the Monkey King defeats uh, the Dragon King just so easily, and then the Monkey King turns into a turns evil. Like for, I don't know why. Yeah, he turns evil, and because money has to close the stick, and the I think he's been brainwashed, and then um, and then Buddha comes in and uh, tells Lin to stop the Monkey King, and then uh, Lin just um, goes inside the. Buddha's soul and pretty much controls Buddha and like telling Monkey King to stop like what like and then we see like some ridiculous things uh, like what is going on in the third act like nothing in the third act just makes sense it's just it's just random stuff just for the sake of extending the runtime and you're just like 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 it just makes you like so brain damage uh, in a bad way and oh my god it just really frustrates me but you know what really frustrates me the most? Uh, the, like, now wait, um, before I get to that, let's talk about the voice acting, because I'll say that for less, but yeah, the voice acting is mediocre at best. Lin's voice acting was decent again, but the rest of them are mediocre. But what breaks my heart, what really upsets me the most is that Stephanie Hsu is in this movie. Really? Like, Stephanie Hsu, the same actress who put, that gave us some um, um, Joy Wang from Everything Ever All Once, like, is in this, what is she doing in this movie? And her voice, I think, as the mayor's wife, she felt a completely miscast of her role, like her, and plus, not to mention her voice, she doesn't even sound anything like, uh, Stephanie Hsu, like, Stephanie Hsu, what are you doing? Yeah, this is, has to be Stephanie Hsu's uh, worst performance, and her first bad role, yet, yeah, best Stephanie Hsu performance, uh, Joy Wang from Everything Ever All Once, Worst Stephanie Hsu performance in this movie, right? Mayor's wife, I guess. Uh, she only appeared in the beginning, I guess, but it's just really sad to see Stephanie Hsu just uh, giving a, an outright bad uh, performance. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, uh, I guess.
So overall, The Monkey King is a movie that I was not expecting much from, but I still ended up with with the, such a major letdown. Because this would have been at least an okay, passable movie, but no, instead it is just complete rubbish. Yep. One compliment I will give this movie though is that it does have a chance of escaping my uh, worst movies of the year list, depending on how many more uh, bad movies I see. And yeah, but right now, this is uh, certainly my second worst animated movie of the year, second only behind uh, The Amazing Maurice. And uh, right now, yeah, this is actually my top 10 worst movies of the year list. Uh, let's see how many more uh, bad movies can come out uh, later, or like. Maybe bad movies from earlier this year that I can like just uh, witness. So yeah. So with that said, I'm gonna give uh, the Monkey King a three out of ten. I certainly do not recommend uh, watching this movie unless if you want to watch more bad movies here. Then I guess uh, suffer through this one. I, yeah. So also for my rant to the Monkey King, uh, what what is your opinion of this movie? Uh, do you agree with me that this movie is sucked? And uh, is uh, the worst uh, adaptation of Dread to the West, or do you find it to be a pretty solid, uh, decent film? Comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for uh, another uh, surprise or rant video that I will uh, upload uh, this Saturday. So, yeah, bye guys.